Hello guys, Lego Workstation here. It's been a long time since I posted a video, so yeah, here's your video. So today I'll show you how to build a Lego Blitzwing, a Lego and a Lego Bumblebee movie Bumblebee. Also, this uh, Blitzwing design is made by Stupid Ninja, and the Bumblebee design is uh, wait, what's the yeah, it's made by me. It also comes with the three uh, mini fingers. So we got uh, Charlie Watson, Otis, uh, the, and I forgot his name, the, the military, the angry military commander, I guess. So yeah. So now we just put the figures off to the side. Actually, no, no, no. So first let me show you Bumblebee. So this is the Bumblebee figure. I really like how it came out. It even has like the uh, back thing, back wings. And also, they can also fold up to make like wings. Yeah, like this. Yeah, no battle mask at this little scale though. It's that's Bumblebee. And this is Blitzwing. I really like how Stupid Ninja made this. It's very nice. And the machine gun's my own design. I just saw it in Google Images pretty much. And these Bumblebee in a... Blitzwing scale very well with each other, and they both scale very well with the micro figures as well. So first I'll actually show you to transform them this time. So we'll just put the figures off to the side. And I'll first show you how to transform Bumblebee. So Bumblebee is quite easy. So first thing you're going to do is just push up the hood, then move the front thing, the front parts of the uh, chest to make the beetle hood thing what you're going to do is that you're just going to rotate the arms like this and you're not supposed to remove them and then you're just going to move them like this and then rotate these it's actually supposed to look like this then The same process will repeat for the other arm. I'll show you why I kept these black things in a minute. Actually, then you can just flip the arms back on like that. Also, you're not supposed to remove this. Okay, so then we're going to open up the back wings. We'll move these up and we'll rotate the entire top part. Okay. And then we're going to rotate this wing section over like this on the T bar. Boom, like that. Okay. And then what we're going to do is that we're going to fold these parts in. And then we'll fold the roof into place. Boom. So here's the parts forming. I'm going to take the front wheel. I'm going to attach it to the front part of the beetle. And then you can refold up your doors. Yeah, these are doors. They actually have opening doors. It was an unintentional design choice. Now what you're going to do is you're going to rotate the legs. Also, you can do oops, hold on. We're going to rotate the legs like that. They'll do the same on the other leg. Boom. You've uh, got your uh, beetle. Almost, you've com almost completed your beetle. Oh wait, this part is not the strongest connection. Then what you're going to do is that you're going to adjust the top parts and then you'll rotate them until they lock into place like that. Now oh, hold on. Yeah, that get, tends to happen if you put too much pressure on it. Yeah. Hmm. 
Yeah. yeah. The connection isn't the strongest on this guy. So once you are finished adjusting the uh, back, then you can just fold in the doors. Oh, hold on a second. Just hold on. This piece just fell off. Yeah, these pieces are quite tight. So just don't just remember not to apply too much pressure. Okay. So then what you're gonna do now is that you're just gonna fold the doors in. And then boom, you just made your Bumblebee movie. You just transformed it, actually. So here's the uh, beetle mode. It looks quite nice, actually. I really like it. So here's a Charlie Watson for scale. Work is very nice. Now, now that we transform Bumblebee, let us transform Blitzwing. So step one, to remove the machine gun. Oops. We'll just put that off to the side. Okay, so once you remove the machine gun, what you're going to do is I'm just going to uh, remove the um, back wing. No, God, he has a tail. Anyway, then you want to rotate the head. Then what you're going to do is you, you'll have to rotate it, but I'm just removing You'd have to rotate. Oh. Now give me a second. Okay, so once you rotate the head, we're gonna rotate the entire cockpit to this side, and then you're gonna rotate the nose cone like that. And then what you're gonna do? Is I going to repose the legs? Now the legs of posing, I just change that, like this. I just use like a one by one, one by one plate with the clip instead of a one by two plate with the clip. So yeah. So you're just going to do that. Okay. So once you repose them, what you're going to do? Also, they're actually foot pivots. What you're going to do is what you're going to do next is that you're going to rotate. Hold on. So what you're going to do is that you're going to rotate them. You're just going to rotate the foot so that this plate is... Right, so you have to rotate it in such a way. Ha! Ah, give me a second. So you're going to rotate these pieces. I mean the feet, so that they'll look, look like this. And then you're just going to join up the the legs together, uh, like this. And you're going to make sure that the feet will be connected, like that. What you're going to do? Now is that you're gonna move these wings off to the back. Then you'll angle these pieces, which are the bomb and the wing thing. Like this, like this, like this. So they all will be facing straight. You'll move the tail, I mean the, the tail fin, tail wing, I don't know what's called. Back to the back. And then you're just gonna fold in this part. Also, yeah. so we're gonna fold this thing like this, and then you're uh, going to angle this part so that like, it'll be straight like this, and you're almost done. And this is the most cursed-looking thing ever in history. It's a jet with arms. 
So then to remove the arms, I mean to seal them in, what you're going to do is to basically you're just going to rotate them and make sure that they'll lock, like not lock, but they'll just fit snug into there. And you'll do the same thing for the other arm. Like that, and then you'll just rotate it to make sure that fits with the place. So. Yeah, it also tends to do that. It's very annoying. And then, boom! You just transform the swing into the jack mode. And both of these scale very well. And here is a blitz swing compared to Charlie Watson. And Otis. Anyway. So now I'll just push up these micro figs to the side. And now I'll show you how to build them. So these are all the pieces you'll need to build Bumblebee. Okay, so now that I've shown you the pieces, let's build them. And also, feel free to pause the video anytime or when, you, when the pieces were shown so that you can collect them. So first of all, we're going to start off with the head, which is just a yellow... Let me just separate this real quick. It's a silver... Uh, it's a... It's, yeah, it's a silver stud and a yellow one by one plate. And now we'll build the arm. So you'll need a one by two plate, and then you'll get a a one by one clip with a one by two plate with a bar connected upside down. And then another, yeah, and then another one by two yellow plate like that. Then this funky one by one black tile with a curve with what with a curved edge like that and then you've built the arm so basically you can mirror the thing mirror the arm for the other side and for the torso you'll need a yellow one by two yellow tile a travis brick of any color and a gray stud and you'll put the then you'll insert the arms into the travis brick so you see this hole right this hole and then this other hole in the plate, you'll connect it like a little something like that. And then you'll do the same for the other arm and the head will go in the top one. So you've built the upper torso. Now let's go on with the wings. So this is what the wing will look like. So you'll get a one by three yellow plate with a black stud then below the black stud you'll keep a a one by one black plate on top of a one by one plate with a clip like that and then it'll connect like this no 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 the wheel has to be over here and take another one by one black plate and you'll place it like that then you'll do the exact same thing and then You'll place them on the T-bar. You'll place them on the T-bar like this. Oh, give me a second. So you'll place them on the T-bar like this. And the protrusion of the T-bar should be pointing outwards. Oh, no, sorry, wrong way, wrong way. No, 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 the protrusion should be facing the other way, like this. The wheel should be on the top, the protrusion of the cheese bar should be facing like this. And what you're going to do is that you can angle them, boom. So you've finished somewhat of the backpack. You'll put that over here to the side. You can build a lower torso. You'll build a leg first. So we need a yellow one by one plate with a clip, and a one by one, and a one by one plate with a bar like this. And we'll connect them like this, so that uh, 
Yeah, like that. And we're going to take a 1 by 2 plate with a, uh, with a, with a 1 fourth circle quarter piece, like that. And then you'll take another 1 by 2 plate with a black stud. And the black stud should be on the top of the leg, like that. You can again mirror it, and then you'll place both the legs on the sides of the travis brick, like that. So now we've built all of the the lower torso, the upper torso, and the backpack. Let's assemble them. So what you're going to do is first you're going to actually have to lift this up so that there'll be space for the, uh, yeah, so that it'll fit on like that. And then you'll rotate to the back, and you'll put the T-bar with the wings on the back, like this. And wabam! That's how you build Bumblebee. So now, I'll show you how to build Blitzwing. These are all the pieces you will need to build Blitzwing. Okay. okay, so now it is time to build Blitzwing. So let's start off with the head. Towards the upper torso, I mean. So you'll need a Travis Wick placed like vertically. I don't know what direction this is, but like you'll place it like this. And for the head, you'll need a black one by one cheese slope and a silver stud. And then, what you're gonna do? Uh, uh it's sorry, it's sorry. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a one by three plate. You're gonna take a one by three plate with two yellow cheese slopes. And another one of those one by two fun one by two tiles with a curve. It should be black though. Like sorry, it should be light gray. And then you'll take a a light gray headlight brick. Light gray head by headlight brick with a tile like this. And you'll just place it in reverse. And you'll take a dark gray cone piece. And you'll place it like this. And so you've made the cockpit part. And now we're going to build his arms and wings. So basically for this part, you'll need a 1x4 plate which has a hinge. And a 1x2 plate with a 1x1 uh, with a one one red, red plate and a 1x1 one one red tile. And then for the other part, you'll need a... A one by two uh, inverted bracket piece with a one second, yeah with a dark gray one by two tile, and you'll place them on it like this. Here's how it look, yeah. And then we'll build the wing, which is just a a light gray one by six tile with a one by three plate, and then for the bomb. We're going to take a 1x3 jumper plate and a 1x2 plate placed like this. And then we'll place the bomb section onto the wing like this. And it'll be placed over here. And then we'll build... So yeah, that's how the wing will look like. Then we'll build the arm. Which is just a 1x1 one one gray clip with a 1x2 plate with a bar. And then a... Light gray roller skate to represent the missile launcher slash null ray. And then I went by two plate with a, with a clip like that. And then you'll place it over here to make the whole arm section. And then we'll actually move on to the lower torso. So for the lower torso, you're just going to, I mean, the leg section, you're just going to get an upside down Travis brick. A one by two dark gray plate with a T bar. Okay, then we'll build the wing section. So you basically will get another one by two gray clip with a one by two plate with two bars like this and a one by two tile. Like, and you'll connect those like that. And then for the, the, the rear fin wing slash thing, I don't know. You'll get a 1x2 uh, one by 2 clip with a plate, 1x2 a plate with a clip, but I just used a 1x1 one one clip with a 1x1 one one clip 
one by one plate with the clip and the one by one black plate and then for the wing and then for the top part of the wing you'll need a a gray a gray one by two slow piece and a dark gray one by one dark with the dark gray one by one cheese slope and that will be attached like this and that will go on the back like so and then we'll get to building the leg so we'll start from the bottom up so we'll get a one by two plate with a cheese slope like this then a silver stud a silver stud with a one by one bracket and a light gray one by one cheese slope with a light gray one by one plate one by two plate tile i mean so yeah cheese slope bracket stud plate and then you'll arrange all of that like so now that we've built the foot we'll now build the rear foot so for the thruster it's just a one by two no, no, it's sorry. It's a it's a gray stud with a hole, and then reg then there's regular silver stud, and then a black one a black one by one snort brick, with another gray. It's with another what was it called? Yeah, another gray one by one clip, and then the foot will be attached to the stud on the front like that. So you've made the full foot. Now time to make the upper leg. It's just a one. It's a one by two plate with a bar. Then you'll get what I assume is a silver ing ingot piece and a one by one plate with a clip like that. And then you'll place it, the, the clip and the ingot on the uh, one by two plate and you'll place the, then you'll attach the plate onto the foot like so. And then we can attach the foot to the other foot. I swear I suggest is before you attach it, you can just put some type of pivot on. You can just put some, attach, a, put a pose on it pretty much like this. Yeah, so I just swapped out one of the pieces from Stupid Ninja Design for extra poseability. And we can never have too much posability, am I right? So then, you'll attach the other foot like this. Oh god, wait. This looks like Among Us with a fish Among Us? Okay, that's just cringe. So yeah, then you'll build a weapon. Which is just a one by one inverted bracket with a short bar, like that. And then a nov then a one by one plate with a bar. Okay, and then you'll get a one by three light gray tile with the one with the light gray one by two plate. And you'll put that setup on those two pieces to make the machine gun. So now we'll assemble Blitzwing. So first of all, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the uh, the upper torso onto onto any one of the pieces. You'll, you can just rotate that, and then we'll put it over here. We'll just attach it like that. Then we can add just the top. Then we'll attach this side onto the left wing as well. Also, separate the legs. Separate the legs, like this. Boom. Then it'll look much more better. And then you're going to rotate bring the back fin and then boom that's blood swing and then his machine gun can just pop onto his arm like that so boom that's blood swing and and that's how you can that and that's how to build a mini lego bumblebee and blitzwing. swing so i really hope you enjoyed this video so remember to, if you enjoyed this video, remember to like and subscribe. And turn on, those, turn on that notification bell. 
and see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.